Hello, and welcome back to Adulting 101. Today we're going to be talking about everyone's favorite thing, laundry. Okay, I know laundry is not very exciting. Say hello to my cat, Joe. I know laundry is not very exciting, but it is very, very necessary. And I just want to make sure that you all know how to do the basics of your laundry. So the first thing that you'll need to do is gather up all your dirty clothes. I have a couple of bags of dirty clothes and a basket of towels. Now, because I've been doing this a long time, I actually sort of pre-sort my laundry while I'm like putting my laundry in the dirty clothes. My husband and I have a laundry basket that has different bags. So we pre-sort, but you don't have to do that. What you need to do is you need to go through all of your laundry and sort it into a couple of different things. The first thing I do, towels are big, wet, and thick. I usually just wash all of my towels together in one load. You may not have enough towels to do that, and that's okay. You can sort them the way we're gonna talk about. So like I said, my towels will be one load. Now there are two ways that I sort my clothes. I sort them by cold or gentle cycle and regular, and I also sort them by light and dark. So a lot of times, like my blouses or my camisoles, need to be washed in cold water or on gentle cycle. The way that you see what temperatures and how you want to wash is you look for the washing label. So this one, this says it's 100% cotton. But if you look, there's a washing label here that says machine wash cold, only non-chlorine bleach, we'll talk about bleach in a minute when needed, and tumble dry low, warm iron is needed. Now my cold wash clothes are typically like my husband's dress shirts, my work shirts, things like that. I do all of these in one load. I do them with a special detergent that I'll show you when we start it. And then I usually don't put these clothes in the dryers. The things that really fade clothes or make them shrink is the dryer. So I try to dry as little as possible. However, I do also realize that that's not always an option when you're living in a dorm room or a small apartment where you don't have laundry in your own house. Um, and it's okay if you dry them, just dry them for a short, as short a period of time as you can get away with. So I've got my general cycle that's already sorted out. I've washed them by cold versus warm. The next thing I do is I wash, I separate lights versus darks. So for example, I've got my blue jeans. Blue jeans are dark blue. The blue will fade into other things. So you don't want these washed with like your white undershirts or your white socks. So these would go in with the towels as a dark. Now I have this t-shirt, which is a light gray. This I would separate out into lights. So that would go in a separate pile and I'll go through all of my laundry and separate it out lights and darks. About once a month, once every two months, I also separate separate out my solid whites. That means that there's no other color in it. That's undershirts, white socks, I have white camisoles or white blouses, and like once every month or every other month, I wash those in hot water with bleach. Now on those, You'll just follow the, the instructions on how much bleach to put in. And like I said, I do not do that every time, but the bleach really helps brighten the clothes back up and you'll be amazed at the transformation. So now I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna go ahead and sort all of my laundry and then I'm gonna get ready to show you how to start a couple of loads. One thing I forgot to mention, sometimes you need to pre-treat clothes that got either some grease on them from cooking or they're particularly dirty or soiled. So for, for cooking grease, if you get cooking grease like on your t-shirt when you're cooking, all you do is you just put a little bit of water on it and you 
take Dawn dishwashing soap. I like Dawn because it really does break up the grease. And you just put a little bit of Dawn on the spot and then you just stick it in the laundry and that will help break up that spot. Another thing to note, my husband is a mechanic. He has been since we got married. So he always has clothes that have grease, diesel fuel, many types of fluids that I do not want on my clothes. I always make sure we have a special laundry basket that those clothes go in and those clothes get completely washed separately. They don't even get washed like with jeans or anything. They have their own load because we learned early on that that, that fuel and stuff travels and gets on anything else. So we always make sure that really soiled clothes have their own special pile. Okay, so now to the laundry room. So this is my washing machine and this is my dryer. Now, you're going to need basic laundry detergent. I use Tide for my regular clothes. For my general cycle, I use Woolite. Now, I also have white wine vinegar, which I use in place of fabric softener. I do not use fabric softener in my clothes. I also have bleach in the back that I, again, I use only, only, only for my white whites with no color. So now we're gonna get ready to start a load of laundry. So as you can see, the, the washing machine is empty and I'm going to fill it with my jeans and towels. I do my towels separately because they are heavy. And so I'm gonna make sure to put all my towels in there and then we'll walk through the steps. Okay, so my towels are all in the washing machine. It's important to note that when you are picking laundry detergent, there are a lot of different things that you can use. You can use liquid, you can use this one, if you see has HE, which means high energy. You also can have like the pods. Before you go out and buy laundry detergent, because it can be expensive, look at the machines that you will be using and see what their requirements are. Some machines you have to have HE, some do not want you to use pods. If you use pods, you wanna be able to sort of soak them in water a little bit in advance so they start dissolving because otherwise they can sometimes like melt into your clothing. So that's why I prefer just the standard liquid detergent. But again, look at the machines that you will be using and figure that out. So I've got my towels in the laundry I'm going to close my laundry door. Now, I think you heard it click and you make sure that it is completely closed. So now we're going to fill the laundry detergent, okay? So I press the button and I open it. Now, you're gonna see different sections. Each laundry machine is gonna look a little bit different, but each one is gonna have these basic sections. You've got your detergent itself, your fabric softener, your bleach, and then your excess. So I don't need to do a pre-wash. So I'm just gonna fill my hole with laundry detergent. Now I, you can see the lines Max and Min, because I'm using a high energy detergent, Ultra, I usually fill it to about halfway in between, just above where the Min is, about halfway in between the maximum and the minimum. The maximum is the highest amount that you can put in. And you're only gonna wanna use that if you're not using concentrated laundry detergent and you have really, really soiled clothes. For most, you can just sort of go about halfway in between. Okay, now you can see it's about halfway in between. Now, like I said, for my fabric softener, I use distilled white wine vinegar. It disinfects, deodorizes, and also helps soften and static. Now that I fill to the max. Okay. 
Okay. Now again, this load has all sorts of colors, so I am not touching the bleach at all. So now this is filled and it's ready to go. If you're working on a new machine and you don't know how it works, don't be afraid to ask like the laundry attendant or someone else who's familiar with the machines. It's never a bad idea to ask how to use something. So now, if you look, we have all sorts of settings. You've got normal, casual, active wear, fast wash, delicates, hand wash. The, the delicates and hand wash is what I'll use when I do my general cycle. You come over here, you've got deep clean sanitize, heavy duty, the whitest white, which is what I would use if I'm washing just straight whites, colors, and normal. This load is my towels. Towels get very dirty. They are the things that we use to clean up ourselves and clean our kitchens. So I like to do the deep clean sanitize for that load. So first come over here, you hit the start button and it comes on. Okay, so now you can see by the light that it's on a specialty setting that my husband uses for his work shirts. So we're going to take this and we're going to change it. So now heavy duty, actually we want, sorry, deep clean sanitize is the setting that's on the plate. Now most laundry, I'm going to have it up and I'm going to use normal, but because I'm doing my towels and I really want them clean, I'm going to use deep clean sanitize. Okay, so I've got the right setting. I'm gonna come over here, and now I'm just gonna hit my start button. And you can hear it starting to wash. Now this is gonna take a while to finish, so I'm going to step away from my washing room until my washing machine dings. When you're using a laundromat or common laundry area, you really want to be sure that you do not leave your laundry just sitting in the room. That's a good way to get your clothes stolen. Usually it's a good idea to just bring a book um, or whatever and just sort of hang out until your laundry is done. If you're using a commercial laundromat, which some of you may have to use for a while, the nice thing about it is you can do all of your loads at the same time. So within about an hour, all of your laundry is washed and you only have to wait around for that one time because I only have one washing machine I'll be doing three different loads at three different times but like I said when you're in a common area just plan to hang out bring homework uh, bring a book bring whatever it is that you want to do while you hang out that way you make sure that you're there when your clothes are ready to switch and you don't have to worry about anyone taking your clothing Okay, so my towels have finished washing and now I'm gonna switch them to the dryer. Okay, the first thing that you need to do when you put stuff in the dryer is double check. There's always some sort of lint trap. Mine is right here. Now, currently this one is empty, but if it's not, you'll just push it, pull it out by wiping your hand over it and then just take it and throw it away. Now you want to make sure that the lint trap is back. Now that you've made sure that it's empty and you just take your wet clothes from the washer and put them in the dryer. As I said earlier, you want to dry really for the least amount of time possible. Now here are the settings for the dryer. In this case, we have a setting for towels, which is the one that I'm going to use because I'm drying my towels. Again, typically I'm gonna use normal for most of my clothes. You can use fast dry if you have something that's just damp or you're trying to get some wrinkles out. Uh, bulky bedding if you're doing something like a comforter. But again, I'm gonna hit the start button. Comes up, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna make sure that I'm on my towels. I'm going to go back to my start button and hit start again. 
And now I'm just gonna wait until the dryer goes off. When you don't know your machine as well as I do, another way to figure out how much soap to put in is to use the measuring cup that is given to you with your laundry soap. Now this is the Woolite that I use for my gentle cycle. And as you look inside, you can see that there are some lines. And you follow the instructions on how much to use for any cycle. So for a full cycle, you're gonna fill it to the top line. So you fill your soap to the top line and put it in the slot in your washing machine. And this is my dental cycle. So as I said, I'm gonna put this on the gentle cycle. I put it on delicate and then hit start. One of the biggest tips I can give you is hang up your clothing or fold it as soon as it comes out of the dryer or the washing machine if you're letting it air dry. This allows you to not have to iron. Now for example, you'll notice the shoulders of my shirts are on the edge of the hangers so that they're gonna lay flat when I wear them. I make sure that all of the hems are pulled straight and try to pull as many wrinkles out as I can while it's hanging this way while it's damp they'll dry and they'll be straight and I won't have to iron them a few other tips of the trades I talked a little bit about warm versus cold versus hot temperatures for your laundry generally your dark dark colors you're going to want to wash in cold that helps them fade less your normal just general cotton everyday clothes you're going to want to wash in a warm to medium temperature your hot temperature is really only going to be used for your whitest whites when you use bleach and that like we talked about before is only going to be every once in a while some other some other things to know every once in a while it's gonna happen, you're gonna accidentally wash some shirt that's really dark with something that's really light and the color's gonna transfer. If you do happen to do that, one of the best things to do is to take the clothes that have been dyed the, with the excess fabric dye, put it in cold water with some white wine vinegar, some white wine vinegar, let it just set there for about 10, 15 minutes. That'll help take some of the dye out, then rewash them. If you can, if you notice it, don't put them in the dryer first. Soak them while they're still wet and rewash them while they're still wet. And that'll hopefully take most of the color out. Um, the other thing is if you have like a new pair of jeans or something that's really dark and you wanna help the colors set, again, soak them in cold water with some white wine vinegar. That should help the color set. Now, um, I've already told you, make sure that you fold and hang your laundry as soon as it comes out, that's one of the best ways to prevent having to uh, iron your clothing. Other than that, I believe that you guys have everything that you should need to do your laundry. Again, don't be afraid to ask somebody who knows the machines better than you do, especially the first couple of times, how to use the machine. There's no harm in asking if you don't know better to do that than to potentially mess up your clothes. When it comes to drying, especially in commercial dryers, a lot of times the first run through doesn't necessarily dry the clothes. But when you reach in to pull them out, they sometimes feel dry because they'll feel hot. So I recommend folding some of your other laundry that you know is dry giving it a few minutes and just making sure that everything is really dry by letting it cool a little bit and then refeeling it because it'll feel damp pretty quickly. 
and making sure that you run it through until it's fully dry. The worst thing that you can do is pack wet clothes into a laundry bag to take it home uh, because then it will mold. You never wanna leave wet clothes sitting around. You always wanna make sure that they're either being hung out and air dried or being put in the dryer. Do not let them sit in a laundry basket or a washing machine when they're wet. I hope you find it useful and we'll see you next time.